On this episode is a South African singer, songwriter, and actress. Born in Johannesburg, South Africa, she landed her first major role as a lead character in South Africa's um, Netflix original series, Blood and Water. Let's welcome the young lady who played Fikele Bele, Nkosi Ngema. Hey, Nkosi. Hi. Welcome, Hi. welcome. Welcome to Tita. Hi, thanks for having me. Mm. How has it been? It's been amazing. Um, I think we're all just super humbled by the reception of the show. Mm. Do you think and, you are um, overwhelmed? Pardon? Do you think the reception of the show is overwhelming for you right now? You know, for me, I think I've just experienced mostly just positive energy and like love. So it hasn't been like overwhelming. So how um, did you But it is like kind of crazy that there's so many people. All right. So how would you say this fame has changed you? It hasn't. <laughs> um, honestly, I feel the same. Um, besides, like, obviously on social media, um, following, having more people, actually, it didn't do more. Besides that, I'm the same, and I'm just excited to see where everything goes from Okay. All right. So, um, Blood and Water references family a lot. What does family mean to you and what's your relationship with your family? Uh, family is important. I think in a world, the world can be hard. When you have a strong foundation where you feel like you can belong, I think it's really important. And um, Yeah, I love my family. <laughs> I die for them. Yeah. Do you see yourself in any of the characters on Blood and Water? I'm asking this because I think so far you're the only one I have read your profile from the series and um, they've ascribed a boyfriend to. <clears throat> so first, do you actually have a boyfriend? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, so is there a similarity with Kosi and Fikele? Um, only in the sense that I'm also really dedicated to my passion. Like, I want to do things to the best of my ability. Um, I feel like I am kind of different to her in the way she carries herself. You know, Figile has like this perception of being perfect. I'm different. So you're not trying to be perfect. But you get, yeah, which is here's what you get, you know. Um, but. Obviously, as a person, you want to portray yourself um, as authentically and also seen, I guess, in a good light. All yeah. right. Um, Kosi, I have a few questions for you. They're not very serious questions, just for fun. <laughs> so, kiss, kill, or marry Wendy, <laughs> KB, Wade Daniels? Kill Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> um, marry Wade Aww. is KB. All right. Oh, wow. So now this one is. Marry Wade. Mar mm, Mar Mar I need to explain that. that. <laughs> you, can't, you, can't, you can't move on like that. We can't. Explain. Is this going to be in season two? <laughs> Will something happen between you and Wade in season two? No, I don't know anything about that. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> he's such a sweet person. Like, oh, personally, wow. that's like the type of person. Okay, so this next yeah. one is about Nigerian artists. Kiss, Kill, Marry, Whiskey, okay. Davido, Bonner Boy. So, <laughs> um, hmm, Marry, Bonner Boy? I don't know. Mm. And, <laughs> uh, Kill with kid and his David O. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think I think he had th those were awful choices. <laughs> so so yeah, is Bonner like, Boy your know. favorite is Bonner Boy your favorite Nigerian artist? Yeah, actually oh, wow. he is. Okay. Sing one Bonner Boy okay. song. <laughs> Don't put me on the spot. Yeah, 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 yeah
I don't know how you pronounce it. Jara, Jara, a is it Jara. 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 Oh, wow. Jara. Okay. All you right. really do follow Bola Yeah, Boy. exactly. Mm-hmm. So I just want to ask for your Nigerian yeah. fans, are there any plans to visit Nigeria anytime soon? I mean, post-COVID-19, of course. Oh, definitely. I would definitely love to visit. Um, my stepdad is actually from Nigeria, so hopefully wow. do. Oh, so nice. since we're still on Nigeria, if you weren't in a relationship, would you date a Nigerian? Um, personally, I don't like look at where you come from or like uh, you look. but if you do a nigerian and you're a good person and mm. all the right mm. yeah did i get you clearly when you said your stepdad is from nigeria, nigeria. yes oh right. okay so you are nigerian related by marriage now <laughs> yeah okay cool. <laughs> all right so i have one last question what is your pet peeve in a relationship uh just honesty mm. Mm. Oh. yeah like just be honest like whatever it is it's okay just oh. that's nice i saw a clip of you and ama kamata and it's looking like there is a form of bff um, born out of blood and water yeah. is, that, is that true now <laughs> definitely oh. um yeah, like when we were on set, we just automatically hit it off. You know, we spent so much time together. Like off set, we'd always go out, um, sleepovers. So yeah, definitely gained the support. Mm. It was if there was a thing you could change about the blood and water scripts, what would it be and why? I think <laughs> I don't know. Like it's so perfect. I think. The way it's been written, it just has you on the edge of your seat when it has to, you know, and then it brings you back. Um, honestly, can't think of anything, but I guess. I'm curious to see how KB and Figila's relationship has before, like how they got to where they are. Um, you have to take that again. Yeah. You are breaking up. Whose relationship? Um, I'd be interested to see Figile and KB's relationship. Like how oh, it's going. I'm sure. Right? We are also interested to see <laughs> how that relationship that. will go. Yeah. Mm. And yeah, Figile used to have used to have a thing with KB, right? Yeah. And they why still have not... a thing. Yeah. So why are you not looking at how Figile <laughs> and KB would go? No, I think. Like they're friends now, like they're friends. Mm. I think, so what happens um, if what happens if the writer switches okay. it up in season two and then tells you to play that role? Is that going to affect your delivery of the role? No, not at all. I think I mean obviously you play a character and that's their journey, so it doesn't really affect me as the actor. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see where it goes. So I know you're also into music, right? So what are your musical yes. influences? Uh, Beyonce, the Queen. Um, <laughs> I grew up listening to Michael Jackson. Um, Joan Armour Trading, definitely. I don't know if you know her. And more like younger artists, I guess. There's an artist called Sabrina Claudio. Um, Moses Sumney. Yeah, just to name a few. So what type of yes. music now, now that you're full-time into acting? And can you give us a quick performance? What? <laughs> I think performance maybe another time. Okay. That's like really putting me on the spot. Okay. Um, yeah, next time. All right, so what type of music now that you're into full-time acting? What type of music do I make? What okay? What's going on with music at the moment? Are you are you doing oh. both at the same time? Um. Yeah. Currently, I am working on the music. Since I think just being at home has helped me focus on that. So that's what I'm doing. Um. But yeah, I'm doing both. So thank you for your time and thank you for doing C with us. No problem. Thank you for having me.